Welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm Chris. This is Van Off Grid. It's been a couple of weeks. Uh, just couldn't come out here and film and couldn't get a, a weekend lined up to, to come and enjoy some outdoors. So apologies for that. But we're here now. I'm on an island called Yagaji Island in Okinawa, of course. And uh, it is a little bit breezy. The wind's going to die down as soon as uh, it starts to, to get evening time here. So it'll be a nice evening for us. We're going to cook up some good food, some yakiniku, and just uh, eat real well and have a couple beers. So with that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And, you know, if you're out there having a beer, I'm having one with you. Cheers. My B plan was these really strong suction cup uh, devices here and they actually hold really well they're super strong and you guys can see if, if anyone's interested in them uh, they're on my Amazon storefront at which is vanoffgrid.store and uh, you can check them out they they have a uh, an airlock on it as well as an adhesive on the rubber part so they stick really well I got the poles on uh, one section is not not all the way up normally I would come one more uh, tie out with the poles which would make it about 10 feet straight out of the van um, and then I would still have remaining tarp to 90 degree it back down to the ground and I can make a sort of a square room here with a little bit of privacy but a nice uh, flow through but unfortunately the wind is just kind of strong so I'm not going to be able to do that this time that just wasn't an option so we went a little bit lower than I wanted but you know if I went too high then the whole thing was kind of like a parachute effect and that just wasn't going to hold up I guess I never actually did a review of the toilet so uh, here it goes it's pretty cool honestly it's really comfortable the top part here it's two pieces as you can see just put uh, about a liter or so of water in there half gallon and this part right here is a pump and uh, you just you just pump it up and down and that's it and then you can see right here's a water jet it'll squirt water there's two of those and it it does a nice swirl of water in there and and then uh, so you know before you go of course I just pull this handle right here and it opens up we, we haven't used this so you guys aren't gonna see something uh, disgusting in there but anyway it opens up a uh, slider there and then uh, all the waste goes in the bottom the bottom part is the actual waste tank and so once you're done we just separate the two and the bottom waste tank uh, I just dump it in the in the toilet at home so I know a lot of people don't like to deal with this we don't uh, normally use the bathroom in here I just do a number one we don't do uh, number two in here unless it's an absolute emergency but anyway uh, you know 
But yeah, it's really convenient, especially, you know, got a couple beers in me and it's midnight. You got to go to the bathroom and uh, I don't want to get dressed and go outside and walk around in the dark. So uh, it, it's really convenient. And then whenever we take a shower, this just comes out, completely take it out. Walls are just corrugated aluminum, super simple and they're waterproof all the way down. And I put some uh, aluminum tape on all the seams and silicone. I get a lot of questions about the, it looks like they're outside of the shower pan, but they're not. Uh, behind the corrugated aluminum, the shower pan actually is flat and then it comes up and makes a lip. So these are actually inside of the lip, so, um, you know, the water just, it, it can't go outside onto the floor of the van. I know it looks that way and I get asked that quite a bit, but everything comes in into the shower pan and then it just goes out on the drain. So one thing I got to make sure that I'm parked where the van is is just leaning that way or level and not this way towards me so because the water will pull up here and it won't want to drain out but it works really well it's just so awesome to take a hot shower and you know use a real toilet in the middle of nowhere This is what the van looks like in the, the sleep configuration. We got curtains that pop up. I know it's dark, but um, you can't see. You know, once the lights are out, you, you totally can't see in there. 
and all the windows are basically limo tent all the way around so but coming on in we just got a towel there that I hang that you know I mean this is like seven feet high so nobody's gonna be able to see from out in the front of the van out over that and then uh, here's the bed So I got a nice, uh, this is just a prop arm that swings down on it. It's, it's attached to the bed and it's all the way, it's a full six feet. And then you can see we have the Venture Forth air mattresses folded right there, all the way down underneath. I got a super thick blanket, Japanese futon, and then our, just the cover on the top. And um, it's 40 inches wide, which for me and my wife, it's just perfect size. So it's a full, it's like, I guess, a twin. But, and then of course, it's a, uh, you know, it inclines and reclines. Everybody. Another great night's sleep in the van. The wind died down a little bit and not too bad. Had a couple big gusts, but we just powered through it. The bed's really comfortable, so I didn't it didn't bother me. But it's officially coffee time. That smells amazing. Here we go, everybody. First sip of the morning with a view like this. This is amazing. Nothing like fresh ground Starbucks. Daylight. Waking up in the outdoors.
as always like we do a little bit of leftovers from last night and a nice little iron skillet here we're gonna throw some eggs in with it and mix it up and that's gonna be our breakfast So I like my eggs really soft, so we won't let it boil too much. And I'll turn the heat off and just stir it real slowly and just kind of let it slowly set up. 